we started uh, three or four days ago in, a, in our first soybean patch and they were uh, bumping the 60s and 70s, so that was pretty nice. We are running across a few paths that are touching 100 in our combine, been calibrated, so that's exciting. Um, if they'll stay in the 60 to 70 bushel range, that would be just fine. We, uh, we've got a lot of money in this crop. Of course, like everybody, the fertilizer prices have been awful. We've pumped uh, July and August it was pretty tough. Uh, we've watered most every week. Uh, electric, electric rates are high. Diesels are ridiculous. $13.50, $14 dollar beans, $15 dollar beans are a necessity to keep uh, to keep our soybean farmers in business for another year. Where you've had water, uh, we're doing fine. But um, anything outside the poly pipelines, our soil textures here in in this part of Woodruff and Monroe counties. Uh, we have a thin topsoil, and water is our is our limiting factor. Uh, if you were able to get water across in a timely manner, I think this year's crop will be okay. Compared to the last couple of years, we've generally had a rain in, in July. You know, that 4th of July rain is what people always beg for. Uh, we just did not have it this time. Um, just not enough to really count. And uh, uh, I, I would think where you had water, this crop could be, could be better because we've had a lot of heat units, a lot of sunshine, and it... Uh, it looks pretty good for now. My son, Zachary, he started his first harvest when he was 14. And uh, from that day forward, he, uh, he's just been here ever since. Um, he's brought me kicking and screaming into the technological side of, uh, you know, the yield maps and monitoring. And, you know, we did some grid samples back earlier uh, before he was around, but he's, he's brought us into the yield mapping and it shows where I have failed in years past with our irrigation, uh, where the water's not getting to the end, the yield map, will tell you exactly what you have done wrong. And uh, you know, when I'm at a, at a Farm Bureau meeting or off somewhere, I can pull up my, uh, pull up my laptop and I can see what he's doing uh, and to see the highs and the lows. And on all our irrigation, we use the com computerized hole selection and uh, that's just been a game changer, money saver. Less fuel, uh, less water, uh, less water in the ditches. It'll give you a, you know, a 24 hour or, or a, a time frame as to how far or, and how, how long your irrigation needs to run. Uh, if you're pumping in a ditch or um, you know, overnight, or there's, there's things you can change um, with that computerized hole selection, it just makes money.